Pak Indra. Excuse me, Pak Indra. Okay. Okay. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> since I use already two devices, then please try to help me to keep maintain the uh, the audio connections for the second device. Thank you for your help, Pak Sam and also Pak Zaldi. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi Everybody. Uh, my name is Hendra Nur Hadi. Uh, I'm from Industrial Mechanical Engineering Department, Vocational Faculty of uh, Institute Technology 10 November, Surabaya. And to begin our today's international guest lectures on December 2nd, 2021, let's uh, start it with say Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, today, international guest lecture. We have special, uh, very, very special guests. <laughs> this uh, Professor Ko Yulin, or you can call him Yosef. Uh, this very special guest since uh, I myself, <laughs> alumni from India, <laughs> and also several of my colleagues, uh, Pa Kiri Nukroho and also Pa Deti, Zulhidayat Nur, all of us, um, more than uh, several of us also, uh, graduated from National Taiwan University and technology. Okay, uh, today's rundown. Uh, we will start it with uh, opening speech by the uh, department office, delivered uh, by Pa Herumir Manto. And uh, sorry for the sound. How to how to put this uh, to make it. Let's join and all oh, this one. Okay, sorry for for the interruption, for the voice, for the noise. Okay, today's uh, rundown. Uh, we will start it by opening speech, which be delivered by Pak Herumir Manto, and then we will continue to the main sessions. It is a lecture uh, performed by Professor Kuo, uh, and then after thirty minutes, the presentation from Professor Kuo. We will try to continue starting the discussions, opening the discussions. And also, Professor Kuo, uh, it is not uh, restricted to 30 minutes, but actually you may uh, deliver your speech more or less, more, more, more or less, uh, around 30 minutes. Uh, and before you deliver your presentation, I will try to uh, read out your short uh, curriculum today. So to start the conference to today's lecture, please Pa Herumir Manto to uh, deliver the opening speech, please. Oke, okay, terima kasih Pak Endro. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Ya, yeah. dear Professor Yulenko, good morning, ciao an Profesor. <laughs> Ya, yeah. welcome to Industrial Mechanical Engineering Department of Vocational Faculty ITS. I want to my, introduce myself. Ya, yeah. my name is Heru Mermanto, as a head of Industrial Mechanical Engineering Department. Ya, yeah. ya yeah, begitu pula yang saya hormati Bapak Ibu dosen, Ibu Tendik, adik-adik mahasiswa yang saya banggakan. Alhamdulillahirobbilalamin dengan memanjatkan puja dan budi syukur kehadirat Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala pagi hari ini kita bisa melaksanakan agenda wajib yaitu kuliah tamu internasional ya ya ini this case lecture is important to hold in addition to increasing knowledge also so student can better understand the development of science and technology and foreign university, especially in national Taiwan University and Technology. And we can strengthen cooperation. For example, for student, yeah, for further study or research collaboration. For that, 
I would like to thank Professor Yulin Ko, who has been willing to become a speaker of international case lecture. Terima kasih juga saya ucapkan kepada Bapak Hendro Nurhati PSD ya, yang merakar saya hingga terselenggara acara ini. Dan tak lupa untuk Bapak Ibu dosen dan panitia, Pak Masuri, Pak Rizaldi, acara ini bisa terselenggara ya. Finally, I hope this international case lecture can run well and provide benefit for all of us. Thank you. Wabilai Taufik Walidaya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam wabarakatuh. Thanks a lot for very nice and very kind opening speech by Pak Akhir. <laughs> okay. Uh, Next, we directly go to the presentations to our main sessions. And before we continue, before we uh, place Professor Kuo to deliver the speech, uh, let me try to uh, read out the short curriculum video of him, of Professor Kuo. Please let, uh, let me, Professor Kuo, if there is something miss <laughs> that I read from your short curriculum VT, please freely after this, you may uh, add some information to your curriculum VT. Okay. Uh, share screen. Okay, everybody, can you see my uh, screen at yeah. your display? Yeah, yeah, sudah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. So, uh, Professor Yulin Kuo, or you can call him Yosef, he received his uh, BA degree in chemical engineering from Yuan Si Ta Shui at Taiwan, and then uh, he's continued to uh, PhD from National Taiwan University of Science and Technology, or we can, or we can call it as a Taiwan Tech in 2003. Oh, that year, I'm still not, uh, we, we were not in Taiwan yet at that time, 2003. And after, after that, he continued to the military service at Taiwan. And then after finishing his military service at Taiwan, he joined the Electronic Design Center at Case Western Reserve University at US as an associate researcher and uh, continue as the postdoctoral fellow from 2005 to 2007. And then after that, became an, an assistant professor at Department at the Material Engineering at Tatung University since 2007. What interesting is uh, Tatung is a big company for the electronics and they also has their own university, and it is a great honor to everybody from Taiwan to be part of the business process of the Tatung company, also the Tatung University. As uh, Professor Kuo already uh, involved for, for such activity in Tatung. And then in 2009, he transferred to the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the, at the UST, and then promoted as an associate professor in 2012 and be a fuel, fuel professor in 2016. And this is very great. Be a distinguished pro uh, professor, not processor, sorry, for the mistype in 2020. And what the uh, important is that we need to know about him. He is concerning on the development of atmospheric pressure plasma technology, which will be delivered as a topic for today's presentation by him on surface treatments and also coatings for the applications on solid oxide, fuel cells, photocatalyzed, uh, chemical looping for combustion process, atmospheric pressure, plasma technology, it's to production, anti-corrosion coating and air battery. Professor Kuo is also currently as a distinguished professor uh, and the chairman of Department of Mechanical Engineering mm -hmm. Department. Uh, sorry for the mistype since that uh, my PowerPoint already automated convert 
from professor to be a processor. <laughs> so far, he is an executive council member and was uh, secretary general for Taiwan Associate for Coating and Thin Film Technology, or TACT. Uh, it is a great pleasure for us to have him to deliver the speech uh, this morning, since that he also as the guest editor for the special issue of surface and coating technology. So please, Bapak Ibu from Material and Metallurgy uh, Laboratory, uh, Bapak Ibu, so uh, you may try to submit your journal to this uh, journal, since that he, Professor Kuo, was awarded as the young scientist at the Taiwan Association for Coating and Thin Films Technology mm, in 2013, yeah. and also uh, the Taiwan Ceramic Society in 2011. Besides, in 2012, he also honorably received the Young Research Award for three years funding and Excellent Research Award from his university. So he, he is always beyond. <laughs> so an attractive person, Dr. Dr. Yulin Kuo, uh, Professor Yulin Kuo, uh, you may uh, reach him or contact him or call him through the information as at your display. So. Uh, Professor Kuo, it is for your time now to uh, freely uh, start to the presentations. And if you have something to say related to the situation new in NTUST, for example, promotion or some materials to be announced, uh, you can uh, share the information by at your presentation as well. So please, Professor Kuo, thank you. So can you hear my sound? Yep, clearly. Okay. Clear. Uh -huh. And uh, my slide. Okay. So this, so this morning we have around 250 participants. <laughs> that's wow, that's, oh, that's so many. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's okay, yeah. So can I start? Yes. Okay, uh, good, after, uh, good morning, everyone. So, sorry, Kuo Lao Sir. Sorry, sorry. Good morning. Uh, since that our display, it uh, shows us the small one, not the yeah. big screen uh, of your presentation slide. Same thing. But, uh, probably you have to switch the display. Display. Yes, between the small one to be the bigger one. Huh? But currently in my screen, it's yeah. the big one. The, uh, how? The, 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 scene, the other scene. Okay, let me try again. Okay. How about right now? Still the <laughs> small one? Di atasnya waktu itu, di atas waktu itu, tulisan itu, klik, nanti keluar. Nah, itu. Ah, nah, good one. Itu. Bawahnya. Yes. Nah, okay. It's a okay. big one. It's yes, a big correct. one? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so. Oh, yes, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks for your invitation about the international lecture for me to deliver some uh, my research. I am focusing on the atom through pressure plasma. Even though I give the some the title of the speech is the uh, applications, but today I would like to focus because as we can see that if you try to use the plasma system, you can treat out of the materials. But today I would like to focus on metals, which is let people know that if you try to use the plasma, what would be the relationship with the metals? So I will give my uh, personal discussion so be, because the, the handle has introduced me. So I would like to switch to this one. Okay. And uh, this is the, the, the beginning of the introduction about what is the plasma. I believe that plasma is a quite well-known uh, well known now in the whole world because if you try to travel some, some space or even some country, you might have a chance to see the aurora. Aurora is also the plasma. So which means that there should be a lot of the phenomena uh, related to the plasma in the nature. So such as the sun, because we, we receive the lots of the energy from the sun and uh, the sun is, itself is the plasma state. And uh, we can see some stars lighting or even auroras these are the plasma in nature. However, we are human beings. 
which means that we can create the plasma by ourselves. So we, we will call it artificial plasma. Okay, so which means that it can be said that it's a gas discharge because there are so many applications using plasma for the industry and the life. So sometimes we will call it magic plasma. For example, light, heat, electricity, force, chemistry, military, or even the nuclear fusions. They are that's the application wow. using the plasma. So that's the that's the the the, the basic uh, definition for the plasma in our artificial world. Okay. So as far as we know that the plasma is the full state of the matters, and uh, as we can see from the, these small pictures, this is the gas state, and this is the plasma state, which means that glass plus the electricity, we can call it. This is the plasma state. So how can we assess the plasma and the state from the gas? Which means that we have to re, we have to offer some energy, such as we can apply the electro field, because once the 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 gas species receive the energy, they gain the energy, which means that they will be highly energetic. Then we will try to collide. So once the species collide they will release their energy. So the energy release will be in terms of the, the light or even others of the heat or even the electricity. So as you can see in the plasma state, they will have a lot of species such as ions or even electrons and the neutral atoms and the excited atoms. But the whole system is still in the neutrality. So as we can see from the phase of matters, once we create a temperature from the study to liquid to gas, the plasma has the higher kinetic energies, which means that you can try to use these species, the ions, electron, neutral atoms, and exciting atoms to do something. Okay, so in the past time, if you, uh, we, have, we can look at the, 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 the metal, the, the, the phase of metals from the study liquid gas, the plasma, but however, you, we, we should try to divide the plasma into two types. One is a thermal plasma, which means that the plasma species will be very, very highly in energetic. But we can try to control the plasma state into the lower one, but uh, which means that we can call it cold plasma, which means that you will see cold plasma can be used to treat some materials which uh, such as the, the plastic or even the polymers. But if you try to use a thermal plasma, it's quite well known technology to do some plasma spray, such as the aircraft the engines. They will use the thermal plasma, make, uh, plasma to, to make a coating on the engine itself, the surface of engine. But I would like to address a new method using the cold plasma because that's my expertise to use the cold plasma to do something. Okay, and uh, however, the plasma will not be fully ionized gas. It's, it's, it's truly hard to do the fully ionized gas, which means that that's why we should have some uh, atoms itself that we call the neutral atoms. So that's the combination inside the plasma state. So this is the small videos to let people know that if you have the uh, different gas, you might have the, uh, for example, but it seems that, okay, the video doesn't work, I'm sorry. Let me try to look at, this is the various, uh, various gases, as you can see, helium, uh, hydrogen, helium, uh, neural and argon. So there are so many gases, you will see, once they, we apply the electrical field into the, the gas tube, so you will see different colors of the plasma state. So as you can see from the, the different color, this is a hydrogen, helium, Ne, argon, chaos, Se, and nitrogen. So this is the simple plasma, the, but this, this is in the vacuum plasma. But currently we can try to utilize the plasma technology in the atom sphere, okay? So I would like to address more about what is the generation mechanism. In the past time, 
you have to put your organ, you have put to the, some of the working gas into the chamber, which means that once the electric field applied, the species will collide, which because they will receive the energy such as the electricity from the, the electric field. So they will try to do some collision process such as the seven process right here. So I would like, I won't, I would like, uh, I won't say uh, in details, but people can try to look at this, the chemical reaction because they try to collide, collide, collide again and again. So as you can see, a lot of the reactions will be occurred because plasma and the substrate will be having the interaction. For example, right here, plasma substrate interaction will have the lot of uh, applications such as this anion, cation, electron, and radicals, and photons. These five species is the quite complicated one inside the plasma. So which means that you can try to do some cleaning or even the activation, aging, and coatings. So that's the plasma you can try to assess. But atmospheric pressure plasma have the very good biggest advantage because it, it doesn't, you don't have to utilize the reactor. It can be the chamberless reactor without a pumping system, without a gauge. So that would be the quite more convenient for the industry. So there are lots of the applications such as the hydrophilia, hydrophobic uh, surface treatment, or even some roughening, polymerization, coating, aging, sterilization, and one healing. So you can do many applications. And uh, I would like to uh, briefly describe about what is the SMC pressure plasma uh, system. Uh, as far as we just uh, uh, refer that the thermal plasma, that's we call it plasma torch, it's a quite high temperature process around 3,000 degrees Celsius to uh, 30,000 degrees Celsius. So which means that it's a quite high temperature process such as for the, uh, uh, the coatings. But in my research or even in my lab, we, we, try, we try to address the non-equipment thermal plasma. So this is the plasma gel we use in, uh, in our lab. So there are also some two systems like, which one we can call dielectric barrier discharge. And another one is the corona. So today, I think I do not have many of time to introduce, but I would like to let people know that we are using the plasma gel to do some uh, surface treatment, such as for the, for the metals, okay. And uh, because we try to use the plasma system to do the surface treatment, which means that we can try to assess two ends. One is the functionalization and one is the decoration. So there are so many surface properties you can try to alter, you can try to change, such as the physical, chemical property, mechanical, optical, or even electrical magnetic. So I believe that in my research, we try to assess these four uh, surface property. And uh, recently we tried to do something for the biome engineering because there are so many applications using plasma in the whole world. Okay, so this is, uh, I would like to start my application on APP system. So there will be the one reported lecture, uh, the, the, the pictures, they say that the feature for plasma science and technology, because if you try to look at the, the, the stuff in the whole world, even around us, as we can see, okay, in the outside, there will be the wind turbine. There, you wish you try to do some coatings on the, 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 the thing, for, for example, property or even the well coatings. And the, you might see that there, because you might try to use the, some, for example, the, the camera. The camera lens should do some optical coatings, which means that you have to use plasma. And there will be one interesting thing because the, the wall is quite, the, the wall inside the picture is so small. As you can see right this page, there will be the mark, which means that you try to drink some water or even drink some coffee or milk. You might say, you might try to look at that. There should be some printability for the polymers, which means that your car might have some, some wall or some logo onto your mark. These has to be used the plasma to do the surface treatment, to, to do some activation, to make the coating onto the mark or even the mark, the, the, the cups. So there are so many uh, applications using the plasma. There might be the vacuum plasma, there might be the, the, 
the atom theory plagio plasma. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to translate the, into the English. This is the, 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 the picture of the air purified using the plasma. So the dust will receive the, 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 the charge. So they will try to uh, aggregate into the bigger, uh, bigger uh, golden maze. So the particle will be collected from, from this uh, system. So that will be easy to, to remove some dust from the, the, the air. But there might be a small one that is like air purified. In our department, we have one professor doing this kind of research. They try, he tried to use the plasma to collect the dust. And uh, in the industry, they also try to treat some uh, waste to make into the, uh, 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 some products for, for the road. So if you are interested, you can try to look at one plasma torch. And uh, another application that is uh, the, for the surface modification for the textile. As you can see, this is a, a regular textile. Uh, if you try to make a coating using the plasma system to make uh, to 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 grab in some polymers, your tissues or even your your textile will be the wrinkle free. So that's the quite well known technology using the the dielectric barrier discharge plasma system to make the surface more active, and uh, the polymer will be coating on the surface. So your course will be very good uh, with the wrinkle free. And uh, I'm sorry, the, I forgot to change into the in, uh, English, but I would like to transfer a little bit. For example, this is the Tito Junction, Tito Materials Boundaries. So later I will show you, uh, this is for the, the, the car lamp. Uh, later I will show you, we also have some application for this one, for some boundaries, okay. And this is for the teeth whitening. Okay, this is uh, the research done by my friend. Because in the past time, you had to use some chemicals to, to for your teeth whitening. But currently, they try to use some chemicals onto your teeth and with the UV lights. But it's a little bit harmful to the human bodies. So right now, they can try to use the, the plasma system to treat. But so far, they did not receive the FDA approved. So they can only try to outside the body and even inside the, the, the animals. So as you can see, the teeth widening has been done. And the uh, other application is for the, for the, for the uh, girls or even the ladies, they will try to color their, their fingers nails. And uh, we also have some friends, they are trying to do some, uh, some uh, teflon for the, for, the for the blood tube. And uh, this is a quite well-known technology in, in uh, in 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 the pig in Apodita is in in American. They try to use the plasma braid for the surgical device. Okay, and uh, this is a quite very good technology from uh, Eddie Tech. This is in England. They try to use the plasma to do the one hearing. As you can see, if you try to do the plasma to one hearing, your your one will be recovered quite quickly. Okay, that's uh, the research. And uh, this is my friend from uh, Tokyo Institute, uh, uh, Tokyo Tech Institute. This is a professor of Kino lab. They try to use their plasma on the food, for example, sashimi, ass, or even some uh, chicken nuggets. So they, they believe that once the food has been treated, uh, the food will be more delicious, but I have not tested before, okay. And the other application is, for example, sealing of the light lamp, or even glass cleaning, or bonding of shoes, or even PCB clean, and the micro free chip, the bonding, and the sterilization of eggs. This is a, a new technology in Taiwan. They use the plasma. Because in the past time, if you try to clean the air, you had to use some chemicals and even a lot of water. But currently, they try to approach using the plasma to treat the air, which means that you don't have to use lots of water. That would be good for the human beings. Okay. And uh, I would like to address some, uh, my case for the surface uh, engineering. That's the, the first case I would like to address because in the past time, I received the projects from the industry. They have a lot of problems. They, they have the biggest problem about the, the chromium because chromium plating is a well-known technology using the electroplating. 
which means that the chromium coating onto this object will be very well known. But however, the chromium plating has also some disadvantage because liquid or even some waters were easily from the line scale on the surface of the object. object. And that the worst be stained with the water can be corre uh, corroded after a period of time. So, which means that if you're trying to have your object to be more beautiful, you had to do something. So, which means that you had to prevent these kind of erosion phenomena on the surface. Okay. So that's that's the that's the thing. The the industry tried to ask me: Will it be uh, any process to to prevent these issues? So that's why we would like to address, for example, uh, to improve their mechanical properties, such as the well abrasion, uh, even try to increase the hardness and uh, to improve their replications. So if we can improve their anti-corrosion, that would be the, the another uh, advantage. So there are some uh, surface property we can try to test. So my idea is that if you look at your cell phone, Okay, our cell phone have the somewhat hydrophobic surface on the glass because glass has been do some uh, has been done by surface treatments to make the hydrophobic and autophobic. Okay, but which means that if you try to make your car have the very good anti fingerprint or even anti uh, contaminants on the, your glass for the car, you should do something about some coatings on the glass. So, okay, so in the past time, if you try to go to the uh, car washer, they will try to make some coatings. Actually, it's a kind of the, this phenomenon because they will use some uh, perfluoro polymers. Okay, perfluoro polymers, that will be like these uh, chemical, uh, chemical structures because our glass is the uh, silicon dioxide. However, that's the ideal one which means that you might have some oxygen missing on the lattice. So the gas will be SI, in the beginning, the SiO2 should have the SiO4 molecular structures. However, it's the ideal one. So part of the silicon will be, will be attached with the H or even some OH. So once you use these kind of chemicals to coating on the, your windshield, we have to do the dehydration. So the bonding will be coating onto the glass. So which means that in the left side, you will see the windshield will be very clear. But if you do not do any fingerprint or even anti-contamination coating on the glass, uh, you will lose your visions of your car. So this is the regular process. So that's why I try to figure it out. If I want to solve the problem of this kind of corrosion process, it's hard to, to make a coating onto the chromium plating. So I tried to look at the paper in 1966. The paper announced that if you try to make a, coat, a polymer coating onto chromium, there will be three materials you can try to use. One is alumina oxide. One is the titanium dioxide. One is the uh, silicon dioxide. So I try to look at the papers. That, uh, I try to look at the commercial products for the gas for the anti fingerprint coatings. They can apply onto the gas. So which means that we can try to make a coating on the chromium thing with the silicon oxide thing. And uh, I also employ. Uh, APBJ treatment on the silicon oxide. So I want to do some activation because later on we can put the anti fingerprint onto the surface. So there should two samples. One is uh, uh, one is a without APBJ. One is with the APBJ. So as you can see that this is an original sample. The surface energy is quite high, around uh, 44. After the silicon oxide coating on the surface the surface energy has been increased um, almost uh, one and one and a half. And uh, once the APB is applied, the surface energy has been dropped.
dramatically increase. So as you can see, polar component will be dramatically increased, which means that we can use these polar species to do the hydro de uh, dehydration with the surface because we have made a coating silicon oxide onto the chromine brace. Okay, so we have that of the polar species to react with the, the chemicals. So, which means that we should have the lower, lower surface, ener surface energy onto surface, which means that we can prevent the dust, that we can prevent the, the, the water or even vapor or even some chemicals onto the surface. But you can also let me you can also look at the, the, the data from here. Without the APBJ, we still can make a coating. That is because silicon oxide is the polar species. So, which means that the polar species can be react with the chemicals to have the uh, 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 abundance with the with the, the chemicals. So also we do some uh, material catalyzation to make sure our thing has successfully coating on the on the breast copper. So this is a chromine and this is a copper substrate. Silicon oxide and the anti fingerprint has been attached, has been coating on the surface. So with the APPJ, the the thing is almost similar with the the, the sample. Okay. So we also look at the anti-corrosion. If you look, uh, if, we, uh, if we apply the anti-fingerprint onto the surface, the anti-corrosion uh, performance has been improved. So we can look at the eye corrosion, rate, uh, eye corrosion current. Uh, regular is the uh, original is the 0 0.25, but so far we have a uh, dramatic decrease into the 0 0.1 and 0 point, uh, 0 point, 0 point uh, 0 0.0 edge. So if we try to uh, calculate the corrosion rate, as we can see that the corrosion rate has been uh, reduced to the smaller, which means that the, the biggest problem of the corrosion can be improved. So we also, uh, I would ask, okay, so this is the mechanism to let people know that if we use the APBJ treatments, we can create lots of the functional group or even polar species on the surface. So which means that that would be easily to be adhered or even to react with the, these perfluoral polyethers. This is anti-fingerprint chemicals from the industry. So we can have the very good bondings on the surface. Without the plasma treatment, you still can adhere with the chemicals. But however, you still have some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some space without the polar functional group. So you should have some void. So if we try to go back to this, the optical reflectance spectrums for the appearance, you will see this is the, the, the black one is the original one. The, the blue one is the, with the APBJ treatment. So which means that the, 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 the red one without the plasma treatment. So that's why we propose the mechanism without the APBJ treatment, you should obtain some void onto the coatings. So which means that your uh, refractance for the appearance will be sacrificed. But however, using the plasma treatment for on the silicon outside, your entire fingerprint will be successfully and the uniformly uh, coating on the surface, even though we still have some, uh, some, some uh, visible light uh, sacrifice from this region. But, uh, as compared with the, without the plasma system, we can see this quite successful. So we try to use some uh, ink coloring to see the difference. As you can see, this is the treatment areas. We can see the, 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 the water bath ink uh, with the, the tent angle around the four, uh, 40, which means that the weatherability is very higher. But however, the treaty area have the content angle around 110, which means that this will not be easy to contaminate on the, on the surface of the object. And we also use the oil, oil bath pan to, to, man, uh, to draw the line. So you can see 
this region is quite clear as compared with the untreated areas. So, which means that with the plasma system, the app coding uh, can be done with the hydrophobic and oliphobic property on the surface. But however, you have to, if you try to use this kind of coding for the industry, you have to do something uh, more seriously, such as you have to test the abrasion because you have to let the industry know that the abrasion resistance is still quite high. So the industry gave me the standard. They say that if you try to do the abrasion resistance, the surface content angle should be higher than 90. So you can see if you have the original sample using the abrasion resistance, just like the, the abrasion light is way of cycles, almost for 100 cycles uh, to 500 cycles. So you can see the chromine. The chromine will uh, dramatically decrease to the lower one, to the, 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 the the break, the break curve to the acquire a lower one, which means that the surface has been roughening because the abrasion resistance is not so good. But if you just put the anti fingerprint onto the original sample, you still can have the hydrophobic surface on the surface. However, once you try to use the abrasion for 100 cycle, it will fail because the 19 degree has, cannot be achieved. So which means that this is not a good one. But if you put some silicon oxide coating on the surface with the tiny thin layers, as you can see, the super hydrophobic uh, surface on the, on, the, on the objects can be obtained around 113 or 40, 14. Once the 100 cycles abrasion, it will dramatically re, uh, decrease to, to the, the, the value, but it's still, higher than the standard. So which means that if you have only used this, this process, you still can sacrifice, uh, you still can uh, have the 100 cycles performance. However, we try to have the better performance. So as we can see the, the green one, if you only apply the plasma onto the silicon outside, you can approach your cycles into 300 because we still can approach 90 degrees for the standard, for the index standard. So which means that even though, let's get back to our counter angle data. Okay, right here. Even though anti-fingerprint can be coating on the silicon outside, because in 1966, the paper just referred that the chromine coating, a chromium based the materials try to adhere with the polymers, you should have three materials as the option. One is the aluminum oxide, titanium oxide, and the silicon oxide. But in this case, I would like to choose the silicon oxide. That is because in the past time, the car is the silicon oxide. So that's why I use these ideas and integrate with the paper announced in 1966. So we can use the silicon oxide as the glue layer, as the adhere layer to adhere with the, the chemical, the anti-fingerprint chemicals. So which means that we can have the very good hydrophobic surface and uh, we can have the, a very good uh, uh, abrasion resistance coating on the surface. So that's uh, quite successful uh, for, the, for the industry. But however, I had to let people know that the fact of the industry, even though I really assess a successful process for the industry, they won't adopt the process and they even don't tell me. After one year, they told me that uh, because in the final, they did not cooperate with me because they got a solution. They got a solution, they find it out. If they only use the blue light, that's the good for the industry. Because the, the vendors for the chemicals, the, 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 the company for selling the, the anti-fingerprint company, they say that if, you, if the, 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 the customer using the process of the green light, 
or green light process. They cannot sell their anti-fingerprint quite often. So they won't promote my process. They would like to promote the process of the blue light, which means that the chemical company can sell their anti-fingerprint quite often. So which means that that's quite perceptive uh, case for me because I didn't know the sadness of the, the engineering because the engineer always want to have the optimal process. So in the final, I realized this might be the best process for the industry because this is try to use in the industry. We have the system, we have process, we have the chemicals. So we had to do some trial of process for them. So that's why they only try to utilize process for this one. After one year, they told me the facts. So I would like to let people know that uh, I try to look at some car, car coatings and uh, some papers uh, published in 1966. So I finally find it out, silicon oxide can be added as a glue layer to improve the abrasion resistance. And the plasma system really can enhance the combination between the silicon oxide and anti-fingerprint coatings. But in the industry, the number two can be skipped because they are not appreciate this kind of process. Okay. So that's why I also do some comparison tables. Even though lots of the adventure use my technology had a, a very good phenomenon, but the industry only used the second one. But with Professor, we love the plasma. Yeah. Professor, oh, sorry. Yeah. It is uh, five minutes left. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yes. And uh, we also do some self treatment for plasma nitride. So I would like to let people know that we use the plasma. Okay. I would like to show something for my case. This is, as you can see, this is the nitride process. Okay. So let me show you the hardness because. The harness can be from uh, a 557 dramatical increase to the higher values. So you can see the, the compound loan diffusion has been obtained in our process. So I would like to let people know that this is, can be good for the, for the, for the uh, industry application. This is a coefficient of frictions. Our, our nitride sample has been reduced to the lower one. The impact for the testing and uh, is truly improved. Okay, so this is the mechanism. So I would like to show something new for, this is for the real case to some uh, mode because we treated the mold, the area just like here to increase their hardening. So to increase their, their lap time of the mold. Okay, so I would like to show you some applications in the final. So that would be more interesting for you guys. And uh, okay, okay. We try to just wait a moment. This is this one is my current research. We what we try to use the plasma to interact with the water because the water has some uh a precise or even variable metal ions on the on the uh, inside the water. So as you can see right here. So you will see this is the silver. I believe that it should be work. The silver can be formed in our, in our uh, plasma interact with the water. So these are the, as you can see, the medium is working. This is a silver. So which means that if you can collect, uh, collect lots of the protein water, we can use the plasma to do the chemical reduction to make the metal ions into the solid one, okay. And uh, this is the, the data, I would like to skip this one. So you will see, this is the gold and the silver using the plasma with the uh, liquid interface to create, to, to make the chemical reduction for the metal ions. And uh, this is the, as you can see, the small gold, gold uh, particles uh, in, in the bottom of the, 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 the tank. Okay, this is the from the, I would like to show, skip this one. And uh, uh, this, I think this might be interesting. 
uh, there might be there is one Indonesia student. Uh, she is working on the uh, plasma agriculture because if you try to create or try to utilize the plasma tree on the sunflower seeds, because you can see they should have a higher germination. So this is the without plasma. This is the, with the plasma. So as you can see, with the plasma, the flower can be grow uh, quickly. So which means that you can lower down the harvest time. And uh, this is another seed. So with the plasma, the seed with the plasma can be uh, uh, grows quickly. Okay, this is for the orange to make the, the orange more fresh. So we try to use the plasma to treat the orange. So the, 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 uh, the mold on the orange surface can be, can be done, can be reduced. I also cooperate with the company so we have that of the, the jet hay. And uh, the, that's a different jet because we are from mechanical engineering. So I would like to show, okay, that's the quite important thing I would like to share with you. The left one is for the BMW car lamp. So we, we use the plasma with our uh, uh, LED, LED design, long lamps jet hay to activate the light lamp. So as you can see, the, the light lamp will be, the surface of light lamp will be activated. So which means that your car, your, 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 your shell will be easily to sear onto the surface. Okay, that we also have the two uh, jet head. And uh, this is with a robot, with a robot to, to treat some, uh, some uh, complicated uh, object. And uh, let me show you the, the real video. Okay, so you can see the pictures, the, the videos is working on the surface treatment for the, for the complicated uh, object. And uh, there will be the one, uh, one news from uh, in the last year, we tried to use plasma to, to treat the facial mask due to the COVID-19 in the, in the last year. Uh, it's not easy to get the facial mask in the, in the beginning. So we tried to use the plasma to, to treat the surface to to remove the order to, to, to even to kill some bacteria onto the facial mask. So it's quite successful, but so far, I believe that it's not a good uh, research because facial mask will be easily to be uh, purchased. Okay, and uh, this is for the shoes. I would like to show you, even though I'm running out of time, but please just give me some minutes to let, to let students know that this is for the shoes because shoes have the bonding, okay. So you can see we use some scanning model to treat and to, to make a scanning and the tree onto the shoes. So the water bath glue will be easily to be attached onto the shoes. So the, the shoes have the very good bondings. So this is, uh, this is uh, our cooperation for, the, for about the shoes, even though it's not for the metals. And uh, I would like to say for the, the industry cooperate with me, lots of the, uh, a five company. So I'm also welcome to other possible, for example, to energy or even bioengineering, manufacture or even circular economy and agriculture. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Professor Ko, and give him a big applause for the very, very excellent presentations from today. Uh, his presentation is very, very insightful. So we may have uh, new perception of the application of uh, utilization of uh, plasma. Uh, now we are opening the discussion, the uh, question and answer. Uh, you may freely raise your hands if you have a question for Professor Kuo. Also, you may type your questions uh, at the, in the chat box. Okay, we have one question. Hello, my name is Daniel Naufal Oki Isa. Okay, Mas Daniel, would you like to ask by yourself online or you prefer just type your question in the chat box? <laughs> yeah, there will be the one student just uh, raised here their questions about, okay, they try to say that, sorry. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he has a question. Uh, he want to do, uh, okay, it's, uh, they try to remove the system wall to make air service more active. Okay, 
So if you look at the, can we go back to my slide? Yep. Please help me to get back. So you can share. Oh, can I share my slide? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get back to my slide. Okay. Just wait a moment. So the questions from Naufal is how does Proxima dielectric barrier removal system works to make egg surface more yeah. more okay. empty? Okay, yeah. So that is because if you do use some some for example, let me go back to 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 the shoes. Okay, to the shoes. Oh, okay. Even to for the for these pictures because we are working on the air as the working gas. Air is composed of the nitrogen, oxygen, and moisture. So which means that these three species will be collided together. Okay, so the water or even the vapor will be also decomposed into the hydrogen and the OH. So OH might be easily to attach on the surface. So your surface will be more active. Another issue is that some substrates have the, a very uh, lower surface surface free energy. That is because some oil or even contamination onto the surface. So if you use the plasma, which means that you can do some kind of combustion process or even oxidation process onto the surface to bring out the oil based contaminants. So the surface will be retained to be more active. So that is the first question for the first students. And uh, the second one, uh, he want me to ask the plasma welding. Okay, I'm not doing the plasma welding process, but I would like to show you, there will be the one Indonesia PhD student. She is working on the, the soldering, even though it's not for the welding, but it's for the soldering. It's a quite uh, simple process. That's for the Bosch right here. Okay, we try to use some, uh, some plasma onto uh, the Bosch sample because we use the air, okay? We use the air, the software is copper. So the copper will be easily oxidized, but it's a partially oxidized on the surface. So we try to use the, the, the plasma, as you can see, we try to use the plasma to treat the surface. We can try to make the surface uniformly oxidized. In from copper oxide into copper, uh, from copper into copper oxide. So which means that the uniform copper oxide will be formed on the surface. Because if you try to do the soldering, you have to uh, put some frost. Frost is uh, acid chemicals, which means that the acid chemical will have a very good weatherability onto the copper oxide surface. So the copper oxide will be easy to be removed. So with the plasma treatment, the, the, the solder will be, have the higher spreading ratios, which mean that you have the higher, uh, higher uh, the areas. So you can see without the plasma, the area is small, but with the plasma, the area is getting larger, which means that you will have the good bonding with the, the solder and the, the, the substrate. So I'm not doing the plasma webbing, I have to say sorry, but we have one case, uh, she is Dewi Sakun, and she, she was working on the southern process for, for helping the Bosch case. And uh, let me see another question. The, the next question will be the plasma merger by Aston Tikas and uh, that continue is, have you been planning to create this new substance for a long time? Create this too, okay. Yes, yes. We have a lot of questions. Also. Yeah, but and, I think uh, it's fine. Yeah, what the surprise is uh, the capacity of the Zoom only 300 participants and there is still a lot of people who cannot access to our Zoom. So they see at the YouTube channel. That's great. And uh, we also provide the opportunity to raise hand to have a questions. We have, uh, oh, there's nobody more. No yeah, more. I, okay. I see. Okay, Salman. Yeah. Salman. Okay. Oh, okay. Salman, uh, uh, 
may I answer the, the question in the test or answer the salmon first? We, yeah. we give the priority for the people who raise the hand in Zoom. And then, okay. yeah. Okay, so, Salman, please go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, is it my audible clear enough to hear, sir? Tampilkan anunya mukanya. Mukanya dibuka, Mas. Iya. Please open your face, please. Okay. Okay. And please turn on your, your voice. Yes. <laughs> so please, Mr. Salman, Mas Salman. Okay, sir. Uh, before that, thank you for the opportunity that has been given to ask the question. Uh, I have uh, one question. Uh, what is the output of the output or result of making plasma technology using this coding? Uh, I mean, like uh, the movement of the robot to detect where to kick the ball. It's something like this. Uh, what is the output, and what is the difficulty usually uh, occur when working with this coding and uh, what pro what programming language do usually uh, use this for the plasma technology, sir? Mm. Uh, is it clear enough? My question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. There are two think... Yeah. So probably you 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 can say one by one the question. So we can uh, see the clearly what the focus of the questions. The first question first, Masalman. Uh, my first question is, uh, what is the output or, or result of making plasma technology with, okay, this, so with the coding? Okay, that one oh, first. Yeah, and uh, I think that you can use the vacuum plasma to make the coding, but which means that you have to utilize lots of the pumping system, gauge system. So in my opinion, actually, if you try to use the plasma system to make the coding, uh, it might be porous due to the, the, the physics limit, because the gas particle will have the a lower mean free pass. So which means that particle will be collide in the gas phase. So once they, they, they fall down onto the substrate to make the coatings, but you have the larger ergonomics. So if you use the APP system to make the coating, you should have the porous thing. But however, in, in, in different ways, you can try to activate the service. For example, in my in my in my site, I would like to address. We try to activate the service to make it more poro functional group. So you can try to use that of chemicals with the with the polo functional group to use the chemical bondings to be adhered together. So that's the different coding. So you might have the very good dance there. But if you try to direct metal coding you should have the, 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 the portals one. Yeah, that's my answer for your first question. But I believe that you, uh, we try to have the more uh, innovation process. For example, my friend just told me that he has the alumina, the pure alumina object. And uh, he just told me that he used the plasma to bombard on the surface. That is because the plasma is a uh, high energetic. So high energetic will be bombarded on the surface to uh, accumulate the heat. So once the heat accumulates up to, uh, to, over, uh, uh, to a, uh, over their melting temperatures, which means that the surface will be get into the molten one and then the air plasma have the oxygen, which means that that will be easy to also that on the surface. So you will have the very beautiful alumina outside layer with the porous inside the layer. That's the different coating, even though it's the surface treatment. So I believe that that can be used for the industry. For example, our cell phone, the surface always have some kind of surface treatment using some, for example, uh, electrolyte oxidation process or even micro R oxidation process. But I received another innovation using our plasma. Perhaps we can also have this kind of uh, porous thing. Then the dye can be easily attached into the, the metals. So I believe that there you should can create more innovation or even more ideas 
for the coding, even not the recording, even it's in the recordings. Yeah. Okay. Mas Salman, uh, there is still a lot of questions that we have to catch up. So please uh, allow us to continue the next questions and we restrict your questions to be one only questions. It's okay? Uh, it's thanks for your uh, answering, sir. It's yeah. also insightful answering. Thank you. Okay. So okay. let me, so, so some students asking me that the agricultural issues, I believe that that would be very interesting. Let me show you yeah. again. Because yep. uh, I think I'm also interested in this one. That, yep. That's why I also uh, have one student who are working right here. Okay, it's quite easy. That is because, uh, okay, that's right here. Uh, recently, a lot of the uh, countries, they try to promote the plasma on the biotechnology. But I would like to say plasma agriculture, which means that as you can see from this slide, the plasma will be bombarded on the shear of the sea because the sea is a quite dense layer. So if you use the plasma, you try to create some crack on the surface. So the germination will be increased dramatically. Okay, and uh, because Taiwan and the Indonesia is a quite humid country, so which mm. means that some mold or some even bacteria will be covered on the sea. So plasma can be, you can try to recognize, you can try to image the plasma. It's just like a, like a, the, the, the ball to, to, to compare or to impact onto the sea. So the some bacteria or some, some mold on the sea can be removed. So that's why the, the, the students, the female students from Indonesia just do this kind of research. She have tried to use lots of the seed to use our plasma to treat. The germination will be dramatically increased, but there will be another issues. Uh, as you can see, plasma activate water because we use the air, okay? We use the air. So air has the nitrogen and the oxygen. Okay, once the nitrogen and oxygen has been activated in the plasma system, nitrogen and then oxygen will be react into NO or nitrogen monoxide and the nitrogen dioxide and even dinitrogen oxide. So these three species is a very good, is, uh, can be dissolved in the water. So this kind of water can be used as the fertilizer. So you will see air and water has been introduced into the chamber and you will have the, the water contained with the nitrogen based chemicals. So these kind of water can be power our plant or even agriculture to have the higher growth. So another one is for the package, but I'm not doing this one. I would like to skip. So you will see that's why we, we try to uh, first we, to treat the sunflower seed. So as you can see the left side without a plasma, the, this one with the plasma. Okay, so after 10 days, 20 days and six days, that's why we can uh, 100 for, uh, for sure to convince people using the plasma can lower down the harvest time, which means that would be good to the farmers. Okay, so another case will be, we treated another seed. So as you can see the the, the growth rate can be dramatically increased. Yeah. So in the final, in the uh, uh, 85 days, the plasma treatment. So, but you still can try, you should have tried to find the optimal process and the uh, different process for different seeds. So that's why it should be a very biggest uh, issue if you try to employ the plasma for the agriculture. Yeah, that's my, uh, my answer. Yeah, we will, we have a lot of questions. Wow, yes, <laughs> unbelievable today. I will try to do my best to answer all the questions. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I myself confused which, which question is supposed to be, <laughs> to yeah, be answered. I, but some students always talking about the agriculture. So okay. I believe that it's, it's not so difficult to approach. Even yeah. though, as you can see, my plasma is a little bit complicated. But I believe that if students 
are interesting, we can use this kind of plasma system. Because recently I tried to use the plasma system into the smaller one. That's kind of plasma pen. Okay, plasma pen, you can treat the seed uh, by yourself. You, you don't have to treat each seed, but you can try to collect all the seed in the container and the plasma can be treated in the, in, the, in the container. So the seed can be treated uniformly. And uh, another one is you, we can also try to, let's go back to the slide about the chemical reaction because I'm, on, I'm from the chemical engineering, but I, would, I am also interested in the system fabrications. So as you can see, this is the gas phase. Okay, the gas phase, the liquid phase, if you use the argon, or even if you create, because this is the closed system, if you use the open system, the air will, all be, the air will also be involved in the plasma generations. So which means that the nitrogen and the oxygen will be also involved in the collision with the argon plasma. So which means that nitrogen and the oxygen will also be react and the dissolve in the water. So this kind of water can be used for the plasma activate water. So that's why I also have the research to try to do something about plasma activate water to, 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 to power the plant to have a higher growth rate. Yeah. So another question, I believe that that's a question about agriculture. And, yeah, I... uh, and uh, okay, I see, I would like to say, even though it's not for the metals, I also would like to let people know now what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I am doing the facial mask, but it's for the ladies. <laughs> okay. Because ladies want to have the beautiful and even a uh, very good look on their on their on their face. face. Yeah. So they will always use the facial mask with some kind of ingredient on the surface, but the ingredient will not be easily to be attached on their facial mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why we create the 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 plasma system on the silicon rubber facial mask. Mm -hmm. Then we can put some chemicals or even some uh, some cosmetics onto the surface, they can attach on their, their, on their face to, to make more, uh, more beautiful or even good look. But however, this kind of facial mask can be used one time, but we try to, uh, we try to uh, make the facial mask to be used for several times. And the, you, we also try to extract some uh, cosmetics from the Chinese herb or even some vegetable or even some plants. So at my lab, we also do some extractions from the, from the, that kind of biotechnology. So this kind of extraction liquid can be sprayed onto the facial mask. So the facial cap mask can be, can be uh, put on the, the lady's face because right now this process has been done and uh, we have already imposed into mainland China. So they, they have this kind of products using the plasma technology. And uh, later on, we will extract our chemical ingredients from the Chinese herb for this kind of uh, applications. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is still one more questions available for the open discussion session since we, 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 we are all limited by the time. Well, yeah, I know. Okay, there will be have, one still. Yes. Yeah. Student Prima? Please. Uh, yep. Please. Uh, okay. Uh, can my sound uh, could be audible? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, good morning, Professor Kuo. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Imadudin Masudewa, Industrial Mechanical Engineering student, batch 2019. Uh, I had an interest in your speech before about uh, produce uh, water molecule splitting. Uh, my question is, is it possible to produce hydrogen via plasma despite of using conventional electrolysis process in industrial scale? Uh, what if we use the substance with uh, the steam? Can we uh, separate the hydrogen molecule from the uh, steam itself? Uh, thank you. Maybe that's my question. Okay. I think you give me a, a, a very good question for that, but it's hard to do. But I would like to let you know that 
yeah, perhaps you can try to use the plasma system to generate the hydrogen. That is because, so let's go back to right, the chemical interactions. Okay, so as you can see that, uh, if you try to use the plasma to bombard on the surface, it's quite similar with the electrolysis. That is because, let me go back to our system. Okay, right here. Here, we provide the electrons, okay, provide electrons to, to the metal ions to get the metals. But however, if you switch, if you switch this into the cathode one, here you will produce the hydrogen. So you, you have the very good innovation ideas because we, we try to use this kind of technology to create the metal ions has been formed inside the water, but we also want to collect the hydrogen. Okay, so if you switch the, 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 the plasma anion castle from this side to another side, you should have the chemical reaction. However, that's why we want to propose the mechanism right here because plasma bombard on the surface, you will generate H2O2 because H2O2 is a very good uh, chemical reduction agent, which means that the metal ions can be formed into the larger aggregation. So we don't have to use the electrons to, to do the reduction for the metal ions, okay? But the, we can use the electrons to let the hydrogen hydrogen ions into the hydrogen gas. So you, you also have the same idea as mine, but we have tried to, we have tried to, uh, to design how to make a, a larger system. So we just created uh, uh, larger scales. So you can see, we propose the electrons should be, uh, uh, we propose the, the high, uh, H2O2, will be formed inside the water. So the metal ions will be formed on the metal mesh. However, we also want to create the argon and the, even the electron can be transferred onto the, onto the water. Then we can create more hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen can be uh, go through the exhaust gas and we can collect that water. But it, we still have lots of things to do, how to collect the hydrogen, how to use hydrogen as the fuel. Yeah. Is okay. that okay for you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe uh, uh, an, uh, one question from me. Uh, uh, how's the efficiency? Uh, as you can see in here, you got uh, input power and then the hydrogen as the product. Uh, as the product, how much the ratio between the you put energy by electricity and the hydrogen produced by mm. the system? Uh, I think it's the uh, is the uh, engineering process because we, we have a lot of things to can be can be tuned. For example, the current, okay, even your argon argon flow rate, or even your power, your your how uh, what are the, the voltages. So lot of the process parameter can be done, but current we have not we we did not we we just stop that one because we we focus on the goal recovery because the goal will be more variable. Yeah, even though the hydrogen can be can be used for the for the fuel, but currently we just focus on the, the metal recovery. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Kuo. Yes. Okay. This was great. This was great. Thank you, Professor Kuo. We sorry for the time limitations. I okay. I'm sure that the plasma utilizations will uh, give a very, very high impact to our day life application, mm. especially for the people who need to cure the, the heal, the, the disease, uh, especially. I think that will, be, that will be very, very, very great in the next future for that. Okay, yeah. for, thank you for, for, for very, very nice presentations. Uh, this very good insight for all of us today. Uh, sorry for the time limitation and for all the participants. <laughs> you it's okay. Really, really have really good questions from from you all, and we are really sorry to not able to answer all of your questions. 
but it seems very interesting that many people uh, try to realize how important the plasma utilizations in our daily life uh, applications. Thanks a lot, Professor Kong. Uh, please give him a big applause. Okay, and, thank you. <laughs> at the, the end session of the presentations, uh, please uh, let us give uh, some uh, awards <laughs> to Professor Kuo. <laughs> yeah. It is the certificate from our head of department. So let me share uh, the PowerPoint. <laughs> let me share the PowerPoint. Uh, the awardness, <laughs> the awarding from our okay. head of department. Uh, pa Heru, please, uh, you you may have some uh, something to say to Professor Kuo. Yeah, <laughs> I think that that's very thank good you. honor. Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you for I don't know Professor Yulin Kuo for sharing knowledge with uh, all of us. Yeah, <laughs> maybe uh, this is uh, my appreciation for you. Uh, I hope you, apa ya, you can uh, sharing knowledge again in the next day, ya. Next time. Pro, yeah, next time, ya. Okay. Professor Ko, maybe you have uh, you as, as information of my student, how to student from undergraduate from my program in eh, Indonesia can continue uh, to your Master degree and TUST. Maybe uh, you have uh, information. Uh, I, to, uh, yeah. yeah, actually, we are quite welcome the student from Indonesia, especially at my lab. Uh, currently, I have one, two, three, uh, three, three Indonesia students uh, at my lab. One is working on plasma for 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 semiconductor. One is working for the for the soldering, and the one is working for plasma agriculture. These three students are working so hard, and uh, they are also interested in this kind of uh, new novel uh, applications. So I would like to uh, to tap the students that if you are quite interesting, I will perhaps you have to try to prepare your your English abilities because. We are, we are so quite focusing on the English ability. And uh, we also would like to see if you have some documents, which means that you can address your, your importance of your uh, lab course or even your, your research. Because we want to recruit some students who is really interested in doing the research. So if you have more data or even some data and uh, I believe that that would be the biggest advantage for you to do the applications. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mungkin yeah. Pak Andrew bisa menyampaikan ke mahasiswa ya bahwa D4 ini juga bisa untuk melanjutkan ke ini. Mungkin dengan apa namanya uh, scholarship itu <laughs> mungkin bisa menyampaikan. Oke. Okay, uh, all uh lovely participants our students the information from NTUST they open the program so called bachelor degree uh for diploma actually diploma uh, graduate uh, to continue to study to be a bachelor in NTUST since that uh, we don't have a diploma degree anymore in Indonesia in our institution in our school so probably for the next time, we would like to have some talk to Professor Kuo and also the management of the department or the faculty member to uh, seeking the detail opportunity have to the more collaborations, how to uh, get closer collaborations uh, such as a sandwich or probably together providing a master, a master degree. So this is our expectation actually. And uh, <laughs> this is quite interesting from today's presentation since that our colleague, uh, a lot of our colleagues from the material and metallurgy laboratory, they have also uh, really, really uh, emphasize, emphasize on working on the plasma utilizations, but uh, we don't have really accelerative progress as yours, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it is quite good. 
for us to catch up uh, and get close to to your lab especially to have a collaboration since that we have several some center of excellence here in institutions for the mechatronics and industrial automation as well we we may we may uh, we may go deep through detail what kind of collaboration such as a research collaborations among among us how to how to implement the plasma with the innovation and also technology for supporting how to how to uh, produce the plas plasma that's all pak heru uh, pak heru probably uh, again we uh, all of us we really really <laughs> thanks for your kind attention help and also the presentation from today high appreciations goes to you from uh, deeply our heart <laughs> <laughs> and we hope in the future we can get more collaborations and more uh, real implementations research collaboration and also uh, join the degree program uh, okay in the uh, mechanical engineering uh, and, mm -hmm. US, and also industrial mechanical engineering vocational faculty of ITS Surabaya okay Thank you yeah there, there will be one thing I had to let people know that our okay. previous previous chairman previous chairman Chen, yeah, yeah right now he is uh, the the thing of the uh, uh, the, the, the the engineering college ah that's great yeah, so he has already promoted. <laughs> yeah. It will be easier for us to discuss. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the questions. But yeah. you do your homework now, your job now to speak with Mr. Chen, with Professor yeah. Chen. <laughs> yeah, that's since, right. Yeah, since the <laughs> Professor Chen is hmm. his uh, former uh, advisor in, in the USD. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to let you know like, he, he yeah. is. Uh, Higher level. <laughs> Actually, I I have a question as well, but we give a more opportunity to our student. And still, there are some questions cannot be answered uh, this time because uh, they very enthusiastic. Your talk and as well as your uh, slide presentation uh, very helpful to understand. So that's very interesting. Very interesting and easy to understand for uh, our student, I think. Okay. Think. Yes. Uh, I note your <laughs> your type, uh, Lao You don't have any cooperation yet with any industry from Indonesia. Okay. So let's. Yeah, but, but actually, my as you can see that I just show you uh, about my previous PhD students, uh, uh, uh Sakun. She tried to help me to 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 cooperate with the, the industry and the, even some. Uh, I think that it's kind of the 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 industry. And uh, she told me that she is going to help me to try to contact and uh, for the further cooperation in the future, because that's the the biggest thing is that the for the agriculture, because in Taiwan we also have the some agricultural issues. So mm. that's why. That's why I also interested in that one to, to promote using the plasma. Yeah. So I believe that if in the future, if some company or even some country want to promote this one, I believe that that will be the very good uh, issue for us to, to do some research or even cooperation. Yeah. And uh, I am also trying, this, trying to do some design of the plasma system. So I want to make it more portable, not so complicated. So Currently, we have some uh, prototypes. And uh, in the future, if the prototype can be a, a commercial one, I believe that might be easy to, to promote the plasma technology for the, for the different applications. Yeah. Mm, it sounds, sounds great. Sounds yeah. great and really, really uh, reasonable and also uh, feasible uh, to be implemented to our country for, for the short time for the future. Okay, Professor Goy, this is very nice, very nice information that you provide to, to us uh, today. And I believe that uh, we may, uh, as soon as possible, to get closer collaborations in research, a joint research and also the joint degree program. Okay, thank okay. you again for <laughs> your thank visit. You. <laughs> thank you very <laughs> yeah. much, Professor yeah. okay. We do miss all, okay. all the... Yeah, if the students have the question, they can send me the email, I can... Okay, and so uh, as soon as you, possible. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Tai Chen. Thanks, Kuku. 
Okay. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let us uh, at the final uh, again uh, say thanks to everybody, all the participants uh, from the presentations today, especially Pak Heru Bermanto, Pak Suharyanto, and yes. all the and all managements for providing us the opportunity to have a, a speech uh, in this morning uh, presentations, this uh, morning's uh, webinar. Again, uh, thanks to all, and uh, we uh, hope that uh, all of us still stay safe, stay healthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and good, good for you, Olga. Good. Yes, yeah. good luck for everybody for the next one. Okay. Thank you, yeah. and we close Thank you. for today. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, Jen. Bye, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Yeah. Close the session from today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mohon izin saya end meeting ya Bapak Ibu.